What's going on gamers? It is Animalistic here, the number one health and fitness trainer for gamers. And today I'm going to be giving you the best tips to get out of gold in Valorant and climb to the higher ranks. If you've been feeling frustrated because no matter what you do, you just can't seem to climb out at ELO hell, don't worry, I got you. This video will outline everything you need to do in order to rapidly improve your gameplay, allowing you to easily climb through gold and reach the higher ranks. Each tip is specifically designed to be time efficient and straight to the point. This way you can improve without spending countless hours playing the game. I'll be giving you the best tips for your movement, your aim, your game sense, and lastly, your weak mental. So I suggest staying around for the whole video because if you do, these tips are guaranteed to help turn you into a ranked demon. Now boys, if you've made it into gold, you're probably already pretty decent at the game and you understand the fundamentals in each engine and how they work. But you may be lacking the skills and the knowledge needed to actually be good at the game. One thing that most people don't realize is that movement is actually the most important part of Valorant. Yes, you heard me correctly. If you have bot ass movement and crouch spray every time you get into a fight, you will never improve and you will never rank up. Yes, I know you've heard this a thousand times before. However, I'm going to show you the best and quickest way to improve your movement and help you stop crouch spraying without ever having to unbind crouch again. What you want to do is you want to go into the practice range and spawn in as breach. Once you spawn in, you're going to want to spawn the practice bot and then run over to the corner over there once you're in the corner you need to breach all all the bots off the platform and then reset back to where you started from here you're going to want to shoot two bots so that they respawn in the middle allowing you to practice on them and shoot them now what you want to do with these bots is practice your counter strafing this is going to allow you to stay moving while you're fighting making you much harder to hit and allowing you to utilize first shot accuracy so in order to counter strafe what you want to do is you're going to want to strafe side to side and then click the opposite movement key as soon as you go to shoot so if you're moving to the right as soon as you go to shoot stop holding d and tap a then you can shoot you're going to want to do this side to side and practice moving across there to each bot's head counter shaping and tapping it as you move and don't stop moving you can start out slow and then progressively get faster at it i would suggest practicing this at least five to ten minutes a day and then once you go and play your death matches go in with the intent to practice this exact movement on actual players so when you see an enemy continue moving and then counter shape tap his head and do this repeatedly instead of instantly crouch spraying them when you see them if you do this over time you'll become a movement god and you'll be much harder to hit and you'll hit a lot more headshots so now that you started to master your counter shaping and your movement you're gonna need something to help with your geriatric aim and that would be practicing your crosshair placement no not countless hours in aim labs instead learn how to use your crosshair to your advantage so that you don't have to rely on hitting almost impossible flicks every single time you get into a gunfight a quick and easy way for you to practice your crosshair placement is in deathmatch so whenever you queue into deathmatch don't just focus Focus on getting frags and winning the game. Rather, focus on keeping your crosshair steady and learning how to track corners and keep it leveled to where enemies might peek you from. And a good way for you to mentally learn where head height is, is to use the boxes or the lines that are on each map. These usually almost always line up with head level, however sometimes you may need to adjust your crosshair due to the changes in elevation. The more you practice this, the easier it's going to be for you to know exactly where your crosshair should be at all times. And then it will become second nature. Once this happens, you won't even need to worry about the boxes or the lines on the map, as you'll always be walking with the crosshair placed at head level. So now that your aim and movement are at radiant level, you just need to learn how to stop playing like an absolute chimp. And don't worry, this isn't as hard as you think it might be. A really good way for you to practice and improve your game sense without spending countless hours doing VOD reviews or watching pro players is to learn how to analyze your games as you're playing them. Every single time you die, instead of just going on autopilot and watching your teammates play, begin to think about why you died and what you could have done to avoid dying and how you could have played it smarter. And once you're done analyzing that, you can watch your teammate, but actively think about the situation that they're in. If they make a really good play, take note of it. If they make make a bad play, take note of that as well. If you do this over time, you'll begin to learn exactly how situations should play out and what to do in order to play smarter and secure the round. All right, boys, and now for the most important part. Let's talk about the real reason why you're stuck in gold. It's probably not your aim, it's probably not your movement, and it's probably not your game sense. It's your weak ass mental. 
Now boys, I know it's hard to stay level headed when your teammates are little chimpanzees running around the map. However, tilting and yelling at them isn't going to make them or you play any better. Even if they deserve it, try not to snap on them. Instead, try to focus solely on your own game and go into each game with the intention to improve, not to rank up. This will take some of the pressure off of winning and allow you to play your best and worry about the only thing that you can actually control, how you play. If your teammates are ass, they're ass. No amount of screaming or yelling at them is going to change that however if you stay calm and collected and give them words of encouragement that may just be what they need in order to step up their game if you adopt the mentality of playing to improve instead of playing to rank up you won't tilt as much and you'll be able to focus on your own gameplay instead of screaming at everybody which may just help you carry your brain dead teammates to the victory now that you know everything you need in order to improve and break out of elo hell i would suggest that you stop practicing everything focus on these four things instead if you do this and give it all your focus, you will improve much faster and the best part is none of these things are time consuming and can actually be practiced while you're playing the game. It allows you to improve without doing anything you're not already doing. You're just optimizing it to help you get better as fast as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you and if you got any value out of this or learned anything new, consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell notification because I'll be dropping videos like this weekly and also please feel free to ask any questions in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to reply to each and every one of you also if you have any topics you'd like me to cover in the future leave them down below as well and if i'm able to help with it i'll be sure to make a video about it in the future so thank you all so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in the next one